defends this city. Batman and Robin. Batman. The Dark Knight. The bat unleashes an ambush attack. Evil is come to dust. What about the bird? Robin. The boy wonder. The blast wave. Bring it breeze to his knees. Now show him the blade. The bat is cool. The jet blade. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Now that's hot. Who defends this city? It could be you. I am Batman. Be the man. Batman. Batman and Robin. Vehicles and figures each sold separately. Don't rush out and help me! You're too busy taking my job! You know, I used to be the scariest thing in this house. But now they've got new tenants. Beetle Borgs and Mr. Big Shot, the evil Typhus and his gang of hoodlums. Oh, and what's with that noise of constant battling? And those annoying Beetle Borg action figures. Kids are always playing with them. It's enough to make one run home to his mommy. Oh, I need a moisturizer. Bandai. Action satisfaction. decaying city of the criminal element which infests it. After being mortally wounded in the line of duty, Officer Murphy is outfitted by OCP with bulletproof titanium robotic parts and with computer-enhanced motor and sensory capabilities. He has become the ultimate super cop. Robocop. to demonstrate Robocop to the LAPD. Soon, versions of my creation will be fighting crime in L.A. and who knows how many other cities. Don't count on it, Tyler. Soon OCP's new team of cops, the Ultra Police, will be ready for action. At least they're men instead of machines. Murphy's not just a machine, he's a man. Stop talking about him as if he isn't here. He ain't here. At least not all here. <laughs> he's only half a man now. Oh, don't pay any attention to them. Do you remember what Detroit looks like from the air? Even with my optic sensors, it is hard to see through the smog. It is so thick. Murphy, check this out. It's beautiful. Very green. What's going on? <gasps> What's wrong? I don't know. We're always having problems with this X-41 model. I can fix it. I flew a model like this during the cybernetics wars. Sir, please, sir. There's been a lot of changes since that early model. Nonsense! A plane's a plane! Hedgecock, are you all right? I'm fine, but the plane is going down! We're gonna have to bail out! I must help the pilot. He has been injured. What's the matter? Be a man about it! Jump! No! Go! My body armor protects me! Are you sure? Go!
I don't know what you are, but you look like you could use some help. L Lewis? I did it! I woke you up! I'm used to fixing up bugs hurt by poachers from the city, but this is the first time I ever fixed a cyborg. Where am I? Who are you? I'm Claire. You're in my cabin. And who are you? My name is Murphy, but I am known as Robocop. Robocop? I've heard of you. Weren't you built by OCP in Detroit? Yes. I should contact OCP to let them know I survived. I don't have a busy communicator. Besides, let's make sure you're all right first. Can you walk? Yes, thank you. Welcome to the world as it used to look. Awesome, isn't it? I cannot recall ever seeing anything like this. How did you find me in such a wilderness? I'm an environmental biologist. Finding and helping endangered species is my job. You looked pretty endangered when I found you. What exactly do you do? I check out the water and the streams. I try to keep animals and plants on the verge of extinction from getting totally wiped out. <laughs> it's a big job. Lewis, give it up! We've been searching all day. We all saw the plane crash. Robocop's dead. He's gone to that great junkyard in the sky. We don't know anything for sure till we find the plane, and I'm not stopping till we do. Lewis is right. OCP spent a fortune on this project, and we're not going to write it off until we find the remains. There are few places like this left on the Earth for us to enjoy, and even this is being threatened. By what? I found a problem in the Eastern Sector. You must show me. Tomorrow. For now, I just want to enjoy this. Look! There it is! Murphy! Murphy! I told you he was dead. Dead? He isn't even here. Then he's alive! Alive! That's odd. He doesn't show up on the tracker. The homing device must have been damaged in the crash. Look! Tire tracks! Someone's taken him! Come on! We've got to rescue him! Hold on, Hotshot. It's almost dark. No telling what you'll find out there. I think we ought to camp out here tonight. Build a fire! I agree. A very big fire. We'll continue to search first thing in the morning. This is the area I was telling you about. They are all dead. Exactly. The water is full of PCBs. The concentrations are even higher than the last time I checked. If the contamination isn't stopped, it's going to destroy the entire area. Where is it coming from? I'm not sure. Someplace further upstream. I will help you locate its source. Look! What is it? I don't know, but it's wrecking the environment. We've got to stop them. It's owned by OCB, your bosses. Now what are we going to do? Hey, boss. That's five acres today. Productivity is picking up, huh? Yeah, this Ravager really does the job. It'll do the work in a tenth the time. You did tell the old man that was my idea, didn't you? At the rate I'm achieving cost savings, you'll soon be working for me. <laughs> Dream on, Ralphie boy. OCP doesn't put nerds in executive positions. Are you in charge of this operation? Uh, not me. Him. Yeah, him. Who or what wants to know? I am Robocop. You must shut down this plant immediately or face severe civil and criminal penalties. Robocop? I heard of you. You're way out of your jurisdiction here, bub. This ain't Detroit. Then you refuse to comply? Go back to the city where you belong, Metal Mouth. I got work to do here. <gasps> you are under arrest. I am taking you to the local authorities. This is crazy! Wait till the old man hears about this! You can call him from downtown. Boss, don't worry about a thing. I can handle the operation while you're gone. Shut down this plant immediately to avoid further violations. Oh, absolutely, sir. <laughs> but we don't want to break the law.
Yes. There was a creepy robot cop here. He says we have to shut down. He even took Ed. It must be Robocop. We wondered what happened when we lost contact with his plane. But this is unacceptable. He mustn't be allowed to disrupt an OCP operation. Restrain him till I can get some men up there to bring him back to Detroit. It's already been taken care of, sir. What's that? No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. We gotta get up in the trees. The trees are our only chance. The trees, the trees! Please help me up! damage, but my major systems are still functioning. It's not over yet. Ralph's crazy. He wants my job. He's always wanted my job. I see that now. He won't stop till we're all dead. And I need my recharging chair, but it's in Detroit. No, I know. There's a dam not far from here. They have hydroelectric dynamos. Maybe we could... Build a makeshift power source. It might be feasible. What about him? It is me they are after. He is safer if he is not around me. We will leave him. You should stay behind, too. No way! I got you into this mess. Besides, you need me to lead you to the dam. Uh, all right! Freeze! <sighs> Looks like those tire tracks led us right to an empty cabin. Good work, Lewis. Only a little farther. How are you doing? I have only 25% of my energy reserve left. Oh, no! It's that thing we saw in the logging camp! It's coming after us! What are we gonna do? My power is too low to fight it now. We must make it to the dam! Let's hope it can't climb! You can run as fast as you want, but you can never escape the Ravager. <sighs> Ah! Robocop! Gotcha! Behind those rocks! What? Is he gone? I do not think we should wait to make that determination. Where does the cavern lead? There are lots of exits. I think there's one near the dam. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Aha! The moles have surfaced. Are you sure you're okay? It's only a little farther. Remain as close to the surface as you can. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. In the dark. I still say we should continue waiting until whoever took him returns. You're just afraid you're gonna break another high heel. <sighs> Neither of you care about Murphy at all. Uh, are you friends of Murphy's? Yes. yes! You've got to help me. He's been captured. I think... I think he may even be... dead. Where is he? I'm not sure. Maybe at the logging site. Let's go! You're mine now, Robocop. The old man will be so proud of me, he'll put me in charge of this operation. You are in possession of a valuable piece of OCP property. You are to turn it over to me immediately. So you can take credit for capturing him? No way! Robocop's my ticket to the top. There he is! Why is virtually spent? We've got to get him back to the dam and rig up a way to recharge him. That's my department. I don't want you missing him up. You can't do this. I deserve the credit. Stay out of our way. Lewis, the Ravager could still be dangerous. I'll take care of it. You can't do this. Watch me. Are you... Hey, hey, don't leave me here! Destroy Robocop? Huh. I don't want to stop you. I just want to watch. Just as I thought. They're heading back to the dam. Hurry! It won't take him long to find us. Can't hurry, genius. This has to be done right or it won't revive him at all. Will it work? I hope so. Throw the switch. So worried. Stand back. I will handle him. We can't let him just take him. We won't. This time, Robocop, I won't rescue you. I've been waiting a long time for this. The entire mechanism's gone dead. The Ravager's been destroyed. Robocop got away! I'll never get my promotion now. There, there, Ralph. There's always a next time. <clears throat> the old... Uh, I mean, welcome, sir. Hedgecock, would you leave us alone, please? Yes, sir. I told you to restrain him not to try and kill him. You almost destroyed one of OCP's most valuable products. I ought to fire you. You're absolutely right. I told you, he doesn't have the best interests of the company at heart. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but you always taught us to show initiative, sir. Well, you really did take charge and run with the ball, son. Therefore, I'm giving you a promotion to chief foreman of this project. What? That 
conniving little weasel? Be silent, Edwards. Ralph saw there was a problem and took steps but, to solve it. But, sir, I, I don't know what to say. I, will there be a raise involved? Don't push your luck. Oh, uh, no, sir. Anything you say, sir. Good. Then it's all settled. Oh, of course, Ralph, there is one small drawback to your new assignment. What's that, sir? Robocop's the best cop in the nation. He won't rest until you serve a prison term for destroying the environment. Me? But, sir, that's what you wanted. You authorized this entire operation. Now, Ralph, I'm sure you won't find one shred of written authorization from me about this project. Your signature, however, is on every one of those authorizations. But, but that's because Edwards never signed anything himself. Ah, Edwards. He always was a good company man. I'm sure there's something for him back at the head office. Sir, there is a criminal here in need of apprehension. Here's your man, son. But I... I... Cheer up, Ralph. Once you get out, you'll still have a good 20 years with the corporation. Officer Lewis, would you take charge of the prisoner, please? I would like to speak to Murphy alone. We'll see you back in Detroit, sir. Now look, son, you interfered in something today that was none of your concern. Ordinarily for that, I would have you deactivated, put out of service. But you saved my life once, and for that I'm grateful. Therefore, I'm going to forget this little incident. But we're even now, and I don't ever want you to interfere in OCP affairs again. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I am never again to interfere with an OCP operation. And I will not. Unless OCP once again breaks the law. You are OCP product. You will do as you're told. Correction, sir. I am a policeman. It is my duty to protect the innocent and uphold the law. dead-end drive where you can get rich by accident it's nighty night for the hairdressers someone will inherit a fortune but everyone's dying to bump you off a little trip for the fortune teller first out of 13 dead-end drive while their picture is above the mantle wins lights out for the boyfriend the fun's alive with 13 dead-end drive 90-second shootout. High-powered hoops. <laughs> Rapid-fire rim rocket action. Take the shot. Beat the clock. 90-second timer. Seven arcade action sounds. Automatic scoring. Tie score, two seconds left. 90-second shootout from Melapel. Ask him, ask him. Ask Sandar. Sandar, am I going to the prom with a geek? Please say no. Excellent chance. <laughs> you going to the prom with a geek? Okay, my turn. Do I have a secret admirer? Absolutely. <laughs> he knows everything. Ask Sandar. Wave your hand and he speaks. Guess what he predicts and the winner gets the special fortune red. You will get a phone call about this. <gasps> ask Sandar, the talking wizard game. Definitely. 
against the mighty Warpen, Power Rangers, Teenage Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, evil space aliens have become a real safety hazard. Earth's only hope, the Power Rangers. Oh yeah? No one can stop us. Just let them try. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Cops, central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. of Berserko's big surprise. Cops file 98004, the most chaotic caper of our career. This near disaster for Empire City began when the big boss's manservant, Squeaky Clean, paid a surprise visit to Berserko's secret hideout. Here's how the caper came down. to throw a surprise party for him. Here's a shopping list. It tells you exactly what to buy. Balloons, onion dip, birthday cake. I'm ready to come down now, Berserko. All uh, right. Daddy! Here's $10,000 I took out of petty cash. <laughs> I hope it's enough. More than enough. Why spend money? We're crooks. Let's steal some party favors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. And I want the bug eye monster and the walrus and the fish head and the skeleton. That'll be $400. Thanks for shopping at Partyville, home of the world's largest balloon. Where are these masks? He won't know who's robbing the place. <laughs> oh. 
a criminal genius. That's what I am. Huh? All right, this is a stick up. You're joking, right? Thank you, officer. Maybe you can help us identify the suspects from our mug file. I can't believe they just robbed my store wearing masks. I just sold them. There's only one crook mindless enough to pull a stunt like that. Berserko. That's him. He's the one who stole the world's largest balloon. And I want it back. to me like the Zirko's throwing a party. Hey, this could be our chance to nab all the crooks in one place. Hmm. If this shopping list is accurate, the next thing Berserko plans to steal is a birthday cake. Call an All Points Bulletin. We'll check every bakery in town.
garage to bulletproof. The suspects are heading south on the waterfront. I'm in disguise and in pursuit. The cake. <laughs> yeah, we bought the cake. Where's the big boss's present? What present? How could you forget? The surprise party starts in a few hours. Uh, we, we didn't forget. We just didn't know what to get him. Well, he is hard to buy for. And what do you get for the boss who's stolen everything? What doesn't Uncle Big Boss have? Welcome to the afternoon edition of Empire News. Today's big local news, the grand opening of Empire City's Cornucopia Bridge. Hmm. The ribbon-cutting ceremony will begin at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Mayor Davis will be on hand to do the honors. He doesn't have a bridge! You, you can't steal a bridge! It's, it's impossible! You're talking to the guy who just stole the world's largest balloon! Yeah. Fellas. Look! Teddy caught us a spy! Yeah, that's right. I am a spy. The big boss sent me. Oh, no! If the big boss finds out about the party, he won't be surprised. Don't worry, Squeaky. The big boss will be surprised. Just you wait and see. Steal a bridge! Don't be late for the party! You wouldn't want to miss the cake! <laughs> it is with great pleasure that I stand before you today at the inaugural celebration of Empire City's latest architectural wonder! When it comes Why the banana street jacket, Berserko? So you'll stay put! I don't want you spoiling the big boss's surprise! But maybe I can help you steal the bridge. Why don't you let me in on the plan? What? And spoil your surprise? And so, without further ado, I officially open the Cornucopia Bridge and dedicate it to the citizens of Empire City. I thought that old windbag had never shut up. hasn't checked in since she spotted the suspects. It's a total disaster. Mayor Davis, what happened? Pretty neat, huh? 
So you inflated the world's largest balloon. Big deal. What do you mean, big deal? That balloon's gonna fly this baby to the big boss in time for the party! Hey, look! Fireworks! The mayor sure knows how to throw a party! <laughs> big boss will be here any minute. Everyone got their noisemakers? Someone coming. Surprise party. Well, you shouldn't have. Well, all right. Uh, what did you get me? I think you better ask Berserko. Okay, where is my numbskull nephew anyway? He's out stealing the cornucopia bridge. The what? The cornucopia bridge. Your birthday present. <laughs> Berserko, you nitwit! Sounds like Uncle Big Boss. Nah, I must be hearing things. In a few seconds, this bridge will be floating on air. Not at this rate, it won't. Who taught you to wire explosives, anyway? Well, if you're so smart, do it yourself. Oof. Somebody peel me out of this banana skin. <laughs> Better not try anything funny, Smarty Pants. I'm watching you. Cops! Come on, Banana Brain! Hurry it up! Fireworks. This might be just the thing to crash Berserko's party. out what's going on down there? Berserko's in a celery suit, and there's enough TNT on that bridge to blow up half of Empire City. Let's be careful. It's Mirage. She wants us to stall for time. What is that nut trying to do? It looks like that nut's trying to blow that bridge off its support so we can fly it away. What? Is that possible? Of course not. But he might hurt a lot of people trying. Well, let's get him! Mace! We wait for Mirage. She has the situation under control. Get a move on! We're gonna be late for the big boss's surprise party! Okay, bright boy, it's all yours. This is gonna be a hysterical moment. Don't you mean historical? Yeah, that too. Your bubble berserko, but I'm a cop, and 
you're under arrest. Aww! Just when I was gonna invite you to the party! to clear the bridge. No, Mace. Huh? As cops, we're obligated to return stolen property to its rightful owners. The crooks that attempted to steal the Cornucopia Bridge were sentenced to jail. After an exhaustive search, Berserker was officially declared missing. File 98004, the case of Berserko's big surprise. Case closed. Cops, roll call. Highway, mainframe, long arm, Bowser and Blitz, sundown, hardtop, mirage, bullseye, mace, barricade, and they call me bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko. Rock Crusher. Misdemeanor. Turbo Two-Tone. Dr. Bad Vibes. Nightshade. Use caution in apprehending. Colors each sold separately. Flown shapers sold separately from Mattel. It's a movie about a game. Now the game comes to you. Are you adventurous enough to face the game's perils? Conquer it. Or it can conquer you. It's a movie about a game. Now the game is playing at a store near you. Jumanji from Milton Bradley. product from Cap Toys. Who else? We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them!
It's a great day for something, but I don't know what. Yeah, at least the Tyrannals have been quiet lately. Oh no, this is terrible. Maybe you spoke too soon. Oh, oh, ow. Sarah, Ryan, thank the egg you're here. What's the matter? Earth is at war. I came in to watch some Earth TV and found this strange battle going on. Yeah, right. All the creatures on Earth seem to be at war with each other. At a baseball game? They talk about it all the time on your TV. Cardinals are battling Orioles, and pirates are beating Indians. And in what I think is a very unfair fight, tigers are crushing blue jays. <laughs> no, you, you got it all wrong, pal. I can explain everything. Yeah? Can you explain how two pairs of socks can be fighting each other? Let me guess. The Red Sox were battling the White Sox. See? Even Sarah heard it. <laughs> Come on, big fella. Let's round up the other dinosaurs. We're gonna show you what Earth baseball is all about. Well, okay. But I refuse to crush any of those poor little Blue Jays. <laughs> <laughs> Of course the dinosaurs keep defeating us. They have Earth partners, the secret scouts. We Tyrannos have no allies on this planet. So how can we get some? By amassing great wealth. Then we can hire ourselves an army of mercenary Earthlings. And Carlo! Your most loyal, obedient Nodosaur at your service. <coughs> oh, great Genghis Rex. Oh, brother, give me a break. Silence! And Kylo, I ordered you to find out what is the most valuable thing on this horrid little planet. Yes, sir. After extensive research, I found that the one thing mammals value the most is... <coughs> diamonds. So the battle between the tigers and the blue jays is still raging. Meanwhile, here at the Astrodome, home of the world's largest diamond... This diamond must be very important. What is it? D I don't really know for sure. You don't know? You don't know? Uh, but, but, but I did find a reference to the world's largest diamond. And I know where it is. Excellent! We will leave at once. Everyone to the mothership. And Kylo. And Kylo! Yes, Rex. There'd better not be any foul ups. Or else! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you said <laughs> right away. <laughs> Putting up the invisibility shield. Now we won't be spotted. Yeah, but how can we play this baseball war game without being seen? Because we're gonna play in the Houston Astrodome. It's surrounded by a dome, so that'll keep any nosy people out. Hang on. Settling down. State of Texas. Where is the biggest diamond of all? According to my uh, calculations, we should be there in a matter of minutes. You mean we're lost again? No, no, not lost exactly. I mean, a little. Well, we're sort of uh, very lost. Attention, crew. Thanks to our extinct-brained navigator, we must stop and ask directions. Take the ship down at the next refueling station we pass. Yep, Tom. Everything that grows in Texas grows bigger than any place else. 
Even way out here in the desert, stuff's bigger. Our cacti, our bugs, even our lizards. You puny mammal! Tell us how to get to Houston! I... I... What are those creatures doing? Not showing the way to the world's largest diamond, that's what! Diamonds? This here's gold country. But we came here for a diamond! Diamonds are for sissies. Finding gold is man's work. But Rex, we're not men! No, but we're not sissies either! Where can we find this gold? This metal detector will find it for you. Give it to me! Ooh, let's do this civilized. How much you got? Forty-eight Earth dollars and thirty-two <coughs> cents. This is your lucky day, gentle, uh... The fines, because that's exactly what this fine piece of equipment will cost you. Poor sorry critters. It's almost a crime to cheat them. Okay, dinosaurs, you're about to learn how to play baseball. First, this is a baseball glove. Everyone, take your glove and put it on the hand you catch with. Or claw. Uh, huh. Ah? Ah? Ah. I don't think this is gonna work very well. All right, forget the gloves. Sarah, read off the assigned positions. Everyone, take your place in the field when she calls your name. Alouette first base. Right. Hey, I guess that makes me a first base -adon. Icky at second. A second base of of course. Demetra at shortstop. <laughs> Let me guess. I'm a shortstop at tops. Tricero is catching. That makes me the catcher dactyl. Paul's at third base. David's pitching. Ryan's coaching. And I'm in right. And then Terex is in center. And Bonehead is left out. <laughs> Bonehead, what's the matter? I know I'm not as strong or fast as the other dinosaurs, but I just hate being left out. No, silly. Left out means left outfield. Of course you're playing. Huh? I... I am? That's great. Okay, everybody, let's play ball! Stego, you're up first. Which bat did you choose? Well, they all felt light to me, Ryan. I'd rather just use my tail. Whoa! Did I hit it? Where did it go? It went to baseball heaven. You spiked it. Relax, David. There's lots more where that came from. Base. You're out! And never mind home either. You smashed it! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. But where are we gonna find another one? Uh, uh, I'll be home, Plate. I've got plenty of plates to spare. I promise I'll never do it again. We found something. 
This was the best idea I ever had! Dig it up! I found it! What have we found? I don't know if it's gold, but there sure is a lot of it! Well, bring it up! If it's valuable, the dinosaurs won't stand a chance. A play ball, Ryan! I'll bet Home Plate never talked back to Reggie Jackson. Okay, I'm up. Everybody watch and I'll show you how it's done. I got it! I got it! Ow! Boy, did I get it! The Metro! Get it the Metro. first! You're out! Okay! Who's up next? Hit it right to me! Easy out! Uh-oh! Whoops! Stuff's pretty, but while you were gone, y'all missed out on the deal of the century. Deal? What deal? The greatest real estate deal of all time. Uh, but I've got this other buyer. We'll offer you more. More money? We're out of money. But we must have this so-called greatest real estate deal. Well, seeing as how we done business before, I'll take this stuff off your hands, and you get this. A piece of paper? Why, it's a deed, son. You are now the proud owner of the Brooklyn Bridge. But how do we get it back to the tar pits? I'm beginning to think that this mammal is pulling our tails! You didn't say you wanted it to go. Enough of this! We came to get the world's largest diamond! Where is it? Diamond? Well, I have this map. Will it show us the way to the Astrodome? <laughs> you were looking for the diamond in the Astrodome? Oh, son, why didn't you tell me? Well, here's the Astrodome. Now, show me the world's largest diamond. It should be right down there. I'll turn on the X-ray eye. See? There it is! The world's biggest diamond! That looks like dirt! These creatures pay each other in dirt! They're stupider than I thought. But no matter, it must be special, valuable dirt. The dinosaurs are down there guarding it. We're going to trap them in that Astrodome and shoot the whole thing to the Earth's moon. They and their team mammals will be prisoners there forever. Okay? That high fly left me with a few ruffled feathers, but I'm all right. Great game, Aloe. You dinosaurs has really got the hang of baseball quickly. Hey, Ryan, did you arrange for us to play another group? No. Why? Because the visiting team just arrived. Brontosaurus. Of course he's a Brontosaurus. But has he seen us? Then we must make our move now. Uh, yes, so oh, great lizard. <laughs> Cover them! A strike by the Tyrannos, and the dinosaurs are out! Genghis Rex, you've certainly journeyed a long way. Don't flatter yourself, Aloe. 
We're here for the diamond you're protecting. Diamond? What diamond? Don't play act with me, or we'll let you have it with our bazookasauruses. What does the bazookasaurus do? It shoots a ball that's innocent enough, but if it touches your flesh, you'll never move again. Oh, I get it. Sort of like freeze tag, only permanent. What are you talking about? The biggest one, of course, this baseball diamond. And no funny business. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball diamonds aren't the same thing as diamonds. They're playing fields. The valuable diamonds are little clear rocks. And Kylo, when we get home, you're going to be cleaning out the tar pits with a toothbrush for the rest of your life. But you, Aloe, won't be that lucky. We've rigged the entire Astrodome with rockets. Once we freeze you with our Bazookasaurus freeze balls, you and the stadium are going to the moon! He can't do something like that, can he? I'm afraid he can. Enough talk! Prepare to fire on my order! Ryan, David, the Tyrannos don't know anything about your planet's game of baseball. Right! We'll use baseball strategy to beat these Creepadons! Goodbye, and good riddance, my noble adversaries! Fire! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> I'm sure glad I made you teach us how to play baseball. You made us? Oh, this'll take some of the laughs out of you! What a bet! Way to go, team! Radical! Ryan, get down! The freeze balls won't affect my feather. Thanks for the helping claw, Terex. Don't mention it, Ryan. After all, everyone ought to have a ball! Help! Help! The sky is falling! They must be crazy charging directly into our Bazookasaurus fire! Now, what does it mean, Rex? It means instant immobilization of those dumb dinosaurs. Don't fire until you see the green of their eyes! Fire! We've played your game long enough. Now we'll play one of mine. It's called a one-way trip to the moon for all of you. And your silly dirt, too. You wouldn't dare. I think he would. Not if I can help it. Well, you can't. That's right. Ma, you lose, dinosaurs. We may be behind this inning, but we haven't lost the game. Come on, team, let's get that remote control. What are you doing? Give up! You lost! Uh, they, they don't look very lost to me, Bossasaur. Where's everybody going? Hey! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh that's where they're going. <laughs> Wait for me! Here, Chiefasaur! Give it to me! A grounder won't do it. This calls for a line drive. I'm gotcha! Oh! Hey! Baseball's not a contact sport! I've got no, it! No, you don't! I've got it! Oops. Hey! I've got it! I've got it! Oh! I don't got it! Oh, <laughs> And here it goes! Yay, Bronto Thunder! A perfect pop fly! No runs, no hits, just errors. There it goes! Get it! Save! Man, it'll 
take them a long, long time to dig out of that dugout. Hey, this baseball really is fun. How about one more game, everyone? <laughs> I think you created a monster. Uh, well, you guys, how about it? <laughs> <laughs> More fun than the pillow fight by Big Time Toys. Soccer boppers! Great Caesar! Don't, don't start beetle pork again! What is it now, dear? Ah, oh, they just pulled into the driveway with these crazy new beetle vehicles. One's got some giant magnets. Huh, look at that green one. Nice drill, buddy! Ooh, do they have air conditioning? Oh, for the lover! Pretty soon everybody in the whole neighborhood will want one. Yes! Yeah. Son, how could you? What do we do? That's it. We're moving. Bender. Action for satisfaction. Look, there it is. Forbidden. Let's go back. No, let's get the jewels. Forbidden. The game's Forbidden Bridge. Dare to cross Forbidden Bridge. But if the angry idol shakes it, you can fall to your doom. First to grab the idol's jewels and get to safety wins. But beware, Forbidden Bridge is Forbidden. Forbidden! 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 I win! Forbidden Bridge! It's forbidden! If I have to fold one more box, I'm gonna snap. Did you say snap? Snap into a Slim Jim! Need a little excitement? Snap into a Slim Jim! A world where only the strong survive. A world of... Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. things closer to home? Sorry, Kurgo. The soil won't support them there. Could be enough raw rubber here for a dozen gasket seals, maybe even a couple of fan belts. I'll go check on the two we tapped down the hill, Jack. You can stop complaining, fella. We found what we're after. And our poaching days are over. Look at all this stuff. I'll be able to do anything a mechanic can. And what we don't need, Sharnhorst will pay a fortune for. All we gotta do is blast away that hardened slag. Chucks. Where there's babies, there's usually a mother!
do you think you're doing? Somebody just paid a stiff price for his greed. Okay, so you found a train. Not a train, Cairo. A cache of technological miracles we couldn't begin to imagine. Got freight cars, and one of them bears the markings of General Technochem, the ancient research laboratory. Body shot one, this is Lazy Dog. Do you read? Repeat, this is Lazy Dog. Lazy Dog? The ancients called it a handle. It's an old tradition. Why not just Jack Tenrec? This is Body Shot One. We copy, Lazy Dog. Then we've just set a new distance record for radio transmission. Mustafa will be glad to hear that when he gets back. What makes you so sure it's worth breaking open? It's airtight and the seals are still intact. Except it's nearly 200 feet down that tunnel. And the moles can't hold their breath long enough to connect the salvage equipment. Well, neither can I. You're still an engineer, aren't you? Or has that fool Tenrek talked you into giving that up? Fool, huh? Jack Tenrek wouldn't open up that train till he was sure it was safe. General Technochem? Mustafa, are you sure? That's what she said. Why? What's the problem? We uncovered a train like that in Wasoon. After an earthquake. It contains silver canisters. When they were opened, they unleashed a plague. Sounds like toxic materials, a chemical weapons or something. You're lucky you weren't wiped out. We nearly were, but we were able to come up with an antidote. We found these flowers that grow in heavy shade. Mustafa, go back to Scharnhorst. Tell her not to open the train until Hannah and I get back. You know she won't listen to me, Jack. Yeah, and that means it'll be too late to go looking for an antidote once we get there. Look, Jack, the dark forest. We could look for that flower now and get it to the city by nightfall. Now see here, Cairo. The moles have already created a device to pump out the water. All right then. But don't open the car till Jack and Hannah get here. Just in case. I'll take it under advisement. John Horst to Lashard? Come in. This is Lashard. Jack Tenrick will be passing through your sector within the next 24 hours in one of his Cadillacs. The Wasoon is with him. I want them detained by at least two days. You got it. Lashard out. But if it's Tenrick, I'll do more than detain him. <laughs> Thank you.
I still don't believe this. The whole city's in trouble and we're picking flowers. Jack, the ancient pharmaceutical companies made most of their medicines from tropical plants. I knew that. So it really is, Tenric. After all this time! <laughs> The fun begins. Tell me you didn't drop the box. I dropped the box. Terrific. Come on. We've got to go down there. So you're going to try to salvage your wheels, eh? Looks like I'm going to have to stomp that buggy flat. Let's face it, she's totaled. Including the shortwave. Now we can't even radio for help. Found it! So, now what? What else? We continue on foot. That's the best you can do? Unless you've got a flower that can repair this car, yeah. Wait, you hear that? A vehicle? I've got news for you, Dundee. It's a stampede! We've got to get above them! Figured that out all by yourself, did ya? You? Uh, Hannah? What? The box! Phew. Tell me again how this is going to work. For the last time, I'm begging you, don't open that door! 
You can't just go blindly. Wahoo! Close that door! Now! Didn't you see the symbols on those canisters? They're leaking toxic chemicals! Now, get an acetylene torch. We're going to fuse this door shut. I thought you said this was Shivit territory. We're dealing with something a lot more dangerous. We've got a human after us. That was no human that ran over us in the canyon. You don't understand, Hannah. Those hornbills would never go where other predators could attack from above. They were driven there. I knew that. Mustafa! This is what your great discovery has done. Inside the train, biohazard. Just take it easy. I'll get you to the hospital. Cairo, didn't you say Tenric and the Wasoon could cure this? <laughs> Lashard. You got no wheels, no weapons. You're mine! Lashard, come in. Not now! There's been a change of plan. I need those people. I'm calling it off. Well, I'm not. But if someone's out to get us, why are we looking for him? He couldn't make those hornbills stampede by himself. He's got to have a vehicle. I don't see any tracks. Those are tracks. He's got an eraser, an exhaust blower that wipes out tire prints. But even an eraser leaves tracks, like those. You're clutching at straws, Jack. Oh, yeah? Some straw. Well, don't just stand there. Let's uh, get moving. Forget it! That would only make him matter. You have a better idea? No, but I need to get at that vehicle. Just keep him distracted. Yeah, right. Just don't get too close and you'll be perfectly safe. Hey! Ugly! Over here! You sure know how to show a girl a good time, Tenrec! <laughs> We wait for the owner to come back. But it's getting dark. We need a place to sleep within sight of that vehicle. There. Oh, great. Of course, if you'd rather sleep with the Shivets. <gasps> but what if he comes back in the middle of the night? Ah, uh, don't worry. He won't be going anywhere. How do you expect me to sleep on a branch? I thought all you were soon slept in trees. Very funny. <laughs> we're filled to capacity here, and the medics can't do a thing for them. I thought you said Tenric was on his way. I thought he was. I don't know. Lashard, come in. It's Seanhorst. Blast you, answer me! Lashard! Jack! Jack! 
Uh, what? We've got company. Uh. Oh, it's too early for this. So what do we do? Nothing. We wait for them to lose interest. Those cutters aren't gonna lose interest for days, mechanic! Don't you recognize the man you nearly destroyed? You! Uh, look. I'm really glad you survived that cave-in. And no thanks to you. Because of you, I lost a fortune and nearly my life! Then maybe you should think twice before you play with dynamite. Those cutters aren't going anywhere, mechanic. I sent that tree with Sambuck essence. It's the one thing they can't resist. Jack, we've got to do something. If what he says is true, those cutters will never leave. Then let's make it his problem. <laughs> Looking for this? It's the distributor cap. The car won't start without it. Come on, we can't just let him get eaten. Play chicken? Going somewhere? Need any help? A rope? Better. He's getting worse. They all are. Well, hello there, Sharnhorst. We brought you a bouquet. Tell me again, this'll work. Trust me, Jack, it will. You get some rest, old friend. We'll be back again tomorrow. I told you it would work. I knew that. telling anyone who'll listen about how the great Jack Tenrex scoffed at the very medicine that saved his tribe. Look, if I really thought you didn't know what you were doing, would I have gotten us back here so quickly? But you needed my help to do it. Yeah. I have to admit, you did some pretty fancy shooting back there. What? Was that a compliment that just escaped your lips? Maybe. But if you let it go to your head, next time you can take your chances with the slithers. Direct when you battle, connect. So let the fight begin! And may the best.
best beast win. Prepare to Digimon. Prepare to Digimon. The fight goes on and on. Prepare to Digimon. Digimon, the battling digital monster, eats so separately from Bandai. Happening dance, huh? Pick up the temple? Yeah! Step into a slip jam! <laughs> Turn to the fight! That'd be a juicy date! Dad, Mr. Savage. How about the funky chicken? Is that a wall? Oh, yeah! You know excitement? Step into a slip jam! In the future, mighty dragons and warriors that fly join forces against evil. They're dragonflies, posable action figures who pack a secret power, the power to fly. Yeah, dragonflies really fly. Dragonflies on dragon launchers, Zenith, Peak, fly them, crush them against the evil Dreadwing. Now I rule the sky. Dreadwing, you're a dead man. Dragonflies, fight is fight. Dragonflies, flying action figures with dragon launchers, eat sold separately from Galoo. You're not gonna believe this. It's called Sound Bites, and it makes sound and music inside your head. No way! Yes way! Try it! Only Sound Bites send sound into a candy pop from your teeth to your ears. This is better than... than winning the Super Bowl. No way! Let me try it. Wow, this is amazing. Sound Bites, simulated sounds. You gotta try it to believe it. Spy Tech, Case 101. The Whistler's made his move. Use your Spy Tech binoculars to keep him in sight. He's coming your way. The Spy Tech intruder alert detects his movement. He's all yours. You've lost him. Set up the Spy Tech long range microphone. You can hear the smallest sounds like they were right up close. You've got him now. They have Spy Tech. They know. Spy Tech, high tech equipment that works. Each sold separately, new from Tyco. Three sharks, half man, half shark. Yo, Blaze here. Ah. Ah, jab, 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 jab. Big slamu to you. New hand sharks, heroes fighting the evil Dr. Peronoid. They're in my control. Oh, yeah? Ah. You make them bite, you make them fight. <laughs> they kick some serious men. Blades, ah. jab. Big slamu and other figures, each sold separately. Street sharks, hand sharks. Oh. New from Mattel. We have ways of making you talk! Oh, Shredder's right! Because with the Talking Turtle, all you have to do is just pull the sound strip and... <laughs> hey dude, that's my line! Well, how about... <laughs> Sounds good to me! Each of the Talking Turtles come with two of their own talking clip strips! Plus, you can get more strips separately! So when Shredder talks tough, the turtles always get the last word! <laughs> Flower talking! <laughs> From Playmates! Drive deep into the Lost World Jurassic Park and experience... The Lost World Jurassic Park from Lance Parks! Watch out for hidden head butters and the Lost World Site B Fuel Depot! <laughs> or they'll headbutt your Matchbox Humvee! Break out to escape! Now to the Matchbox Site B Garage. Go up the tower. Beware of raptors who attack from the ground! But your Matchbox Mercedes traps one! <laughs> the Lost World Jurassic Park playsets and some die-cast vehicles sold separately from Matchbox. Okay, little buddy. On three. Ready? One. One and a half. Three! All right, Sonny, consider yourself pinched. Who are these guys?
Yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah, uh huh, you got that right. And how? It was the stern guiding voice of the commissioner with just the right kind of hair raising case we can wrap our overactive adrenal glands around. Are you talking dirty? He says there's bad, bad trouble on the moon, Max. Let's pack up and blow this joint. <laughs> Did you make sure to sew ID tags in all your underwear? But I don't. Oh, yeah. Me neither. We have a go for liftoff. Then let the stars be our roadmap. And the inside of this car, our stomach distress bag! Well, here we are on the moon. Pretty breathtaking, huh? You said it, Sam. Everyone knows there's no air on the moon. The preceding joke was conceived way back in 1978. Fortunately, our fragile little life essences are protected by this penny-conscious moon gear. Hey, what happens when my paper bag runs out? Don't you bring a spare? I'm embarrassed by my lack of preparation. I'm a fool. Man, it's getting hot in here, and my windows are steaming up. I don't know how the heck we're going to contact the natives. Just yank that dippy bag off your head, and let's follow these highway signs. So let me get this straight. We can breathe here, then? I guess those prissy, paranoid astronauts never had enough spine to try it. Ooh, I could never say that about an astronaut. What's that? No doubt some horrifying moon creature bent on swigging the marrow out of our fuzzy bodies without even a how do you do. I can't say I'm not intrigued. <laughs> Greetings, Moonians. You made it. Nice get-ups. Climb in. Well, Sam, the gorilla and donkey man apparently think we're someone else. He's a zebra, Max, and that's what makes me a little suspicious. You see, in nature, a zebra wouldn't normally hang out with a gorilla. <gasps> Plus, listen to this, a zebra can't drive a moon buggy, or any kind of car for that matter. You see, zebras don't have hands, Max. Oh my gosh, you're right, Sam. The gorilla should be driving! I think you're onto something. We better play dumb. You mean starting now? <laughs> Don't anybody move. This is a stick-up. All we want is the dough. And maybe one of those Elvis-shaped decanters. We want to drink from the neck all of the king. It's an interspecies hold-up. I know your voice. You're that Henderson kid. Start scoping the cash into a plain brown bag, old man. Giant rat guys. Weird. Interesting. And somehow very appropriate. Shall we slap the sleeper on him and make him cry uncle? Can't think of a reason not to. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends, but you don't look like you're from our world. Where is your home? One of those points of light you see in the sky at night. By the way, uh, you can put your hands down now. Our mayor wishes to meet with you to discuss an urgent matter. Hey, mister, you can put your hands down now. The mayor is, uh, right inside. Don't be afraid or anything. I've got to get back to the shop. Afraid? Ha, we're too darn ignorant to be afraid of most things, right, Max? Hey, mister, you can put your hands down now. Well, if you won't be needing anything else... Put your hands down, for God's sakes! Put them down now! I'm gonna miss that little fella. He smelled like a fine gorgonzola. So does your belly button on hot summer days. Hello? Men of the Earth. Ooh, men of the Earth. I like that. Your assistance is required to resolve a certain pest problem which plagues our glorious city. The situation is very grave. A pest problem? <laughs> a town load of rats has a pest problem, Sam? That's pretty funny. And from a flying head. Amazing. Your tiny skulls do not fully comprehend. Citizens are disappearing, taken away, and used for unspeakable evil. <laughs> Hey, don't pop your cork, Chief. Just where might we find these so-called pests? The creatures you seek may be found on the dark side of the moon. Now, be gone! Uh, where? Hmm? Just out the back door. Go through the janitor supply room and take a right. Mmm, science fiction -y. Well, what do you know? There's your problem right there. It's a world of roach-like leviathons lumbering through a gargantuan cityscape. <laughs> Isn't it cute how they gather into social groups? A moon roach coffee shop. It's uncanny, like some Earth parallel development. I never dreamed I'd live long enough to hear you say Earth parallel development and mean it, Sam. It must be feeding time, Max. Looks like coffee and sweet rolls are their main source of nutrition. And look, 
Now he's adding some kind of non-dairy flavor enhancing substance made of... I'm having a lot of trouble watching this, Max. Here, I'll hit the light. Uh-oh. It's the universal sign of surprise and alarm. I think he spotted us. Don't dawdle, Max. We're almost there. It's okay, Sam. He stopped the goop with some enormous lever. Pinhead. We're through, Max. We escaped with our fuzzy rear ends intact. Right, Max? Max? <laughs> Smells like burning upholstery out here. Hey, Max? Max? Now what do I do? My little buddy is just a is just a bag of chum. Sam. Sam, it's me. Max? Where are you, little buddy? I'm inside you, Sam. Everything that makes me a unique individual, except for my bones, guts, and so on, is now stored within you. Creepy, huh? Hold on a second. Let me try something. What are you doing? There. At least now you look something like your old self. Even though you smell like a fire in a wig factory. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. It's all right. What are you doing? What's the progress on the giant roach problem? And why are you carrying that smoldering dish rag around like a hand puppet? Hey, hey! Something horrible happened out there, Chief. Maybe you can help us. My Minister of Science will advise you. Get in. We use this device to produce a rich, delicious peanut brittle for use in our savage backward rituals. But it may serve your needs. In you go, little buddy. You must now apply the helmet of supplicants. Ow! Feels like the convolutions of my brain are being analyzed. I hate that. The basic molecular structure of your little friend has been vastly compromised. Hand me that staple gun. You know, Max, when I was hauling your remains around in that oily paper bag, the phrase moist garbage kept running through my head, and it gave me an idea. Maybe something good will come out of all of this. Besides a mouth-watering soup stock? Be still, for this is the critical juncture where success or failure of the procedure will be determined. Does that mean we get peanut brittle? celebrating a landmark in interplanetary relations. Early this morning, a deal was struck between city officials and these colossal ombudsmen from space. These husky fellows have agreed to accept all the moist garbage our citizens can produce. Bon appetit. Well, we solved the unrest on the moon. The city's limitless supply of garbage should put an end to the giant roaches eating those little rat folk. And it sure is nice to have you back in your own plushy little carcass again, Max. <laughs> How do you feel, buddy? Not bad, although I'm cranky and listless. I'm retaining water and I keep spitting up sawdust. Well, how about that? It's a plain old itty-bitty earth roach, and he's packing heat. I don't like the look on his face. It's cold, calculated, almost inhuman. Why aren't you out celebrating? Don't you know this is one of the first cockroach-related holidays? Celebrate what? The, the loss of acres and acres of valuable garbage? We're just giving it away. Why aren't we looking after our own vermin before we cater to foreigners, huh? Well, answer me, huh? Oh, take it easy, little fella. Just hand over the piece and nobody gets hurt. Right, Max? I'm thinking, ow. Sometime we should sit down and have a spiritual discussion about the sanctity of life, Max. Bam! And then he was mucilage. Did you say something, Sam? Oh, never mind. I think I feel one of my lame songs coming on. Oh, no, not that! Was a bad day when my buddy Max got fried up on the moon. Was vaporized before my eyes by some ah! mucky <laughs> You crack me up, little buddy. Hold him down, Sam. The success of this process depends on it. His resistance is great. Well, strong. If you would just floss regularly, these long scaling appointments could be avoided. I got it! 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 You have reached the sub-basement of science.
solitude. If you are calling for Darla Guggenhig, please press 1 now. If you are calling for Sam and Max, freelance police, please press 2 now. It's for us! Nice! Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh. Holy jumping jack smelt in a rented hamster suit. We're on our way. How would you know who, Max? Our cantankerous manservant? No, the commissioner. He's all hepped up about some strange doings down at Bohunk Lagoon. Locals, naturalists, and even clods and kayaks are disappearing en masse. Oh my god, Sam! You said en masse! Ahem. Aren't you boys forgetting something? Your car is in need of a few minor repairs. Love that wrecking yard, Caper. Yeah, any loaners available? You have two choices. You can take the Vespa. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I feel all crawly. Or you can take the boat. But you have to promise to be careful this time. Thanks, Steve. <sighs> Amazing! We can use the sewer system to travel unhindered to our destination! It's a vastly underused avenue of transportation! And look, Sam! Baby alligators! Well, they're buoyant and log-shaped, but far from alligators, Max. I don't feel so good. We're almost there, Max. And since country folk are limited to the honor system when it comes to waste disposal, I'm guessing there's no sewers where we're headed. Then this is gonna end badly for us. And soon! I just hate these moments. Let's hope this baby is equipped with ample crumple zones. <laughs> Here we are on picturesque Bohunk Lagoon. Almost makes me pine for the sewer. Something moved out there. Well, we're not going to get to the bottom of any grisly goings-on sitting out here, little pal. You're right. Let us flee this place of evil! <laughs> it won't start. That figures. Try jiggling the handle. Well, here we are in a stakeout, surrounded by all our favorite foods and tempting the unforgiving demons of fate. Oh, hunk. Population... Berries. Curious. What could account for such a bizarre fluctuation in the populace? War? Famine? Rampant cannibalism? Cannibalism! I vote cannibalism! Don't be going out on the lagoon at night! I'm warning you! Look, Max, it's one of those colorful oldsters. A monster will get you. Eat your brains, he will. Just like all the others. It's already at the whole town. Turned them into zombies, I tell you. Only I remain to tell thee. Hark, the beast. He beckons. Run for it, boys. Heed my warning. The creature will take all the fight out of a man until he's no man at all. Making as faint-hearted as a whittled bitty bunny rabbit he will. I'd call that a fairly sweeping generalization about bunny rabbits, wouldn't you, Max? If he wasn't such a likable old soul, I'd have to re-educate the tar out of him. Hey, the crinkly old soul survivor wasn't kidding. Look! Holy mackerel, Sam! These guys have gills! It's hideous! Who could have done this and why? And how do we get some? We've got to follow those zombies and get to the bottom of all this sci-fi hooliganism. Remember, Max, just walk like a bloodless, emotionless being and they'll never notice us. Will I be expected to prepare anyone's tax return? Hey, hang on a second. We don't have gills. It's a cartoon, Jarhead. We have remarkable lung capacity. I know, but I really want gills. And webbed feet, and hands, and segmented eyes. Can I have them, Sam? Please, can I? Hmm? I'm spoiling this boy. <laughs> Where are we, Sam? In a high-tech command center of sorts. No doubt the work of some criminal mastermind who's seen too many James Bond flicks. I'll take that as a compliment. We meet again, freelance police. Well, if it isn't our slippery old friend and arch nemesis, Max Salmon. How exactly did he get that way, Sam? Some kind of boating mishap, I'm guessing. How often do you clean this water? What's this fake body made out of? Melmac? Your casual indifference cannot save you this time. You are now my prisoners. At long last, you shall pay for your part in causing my... 
condition. Not that we have even the foggiest recollection of what you're talking about. But would it make it all better if we said, we're sorry? Come here, you. Give us a kiss. Stop it. Stop that. You longer. Hey! It's unfortunate that you will not live to see my plans come to fruition. Aw, oh, come on. Show us. We won't tell. Well, all right then. Behold! The bounty of my genius! He's a fancy talker. Sea chimps? The bounty of your genius adds up to sea chimps? I'm starting to like this guy. Not just any sea chimps. Look closer. He's right, Max. Look, these sea chimps actually look like the ones on the box. <laughs> and they're playing with a tiny beach ball. Our prayers. They've been answered. You are a great man. I mean, this. And that's only the beginning. Witness this. Genetically enhanced and ripe for the canning plant. I'll corner the market in sea chimp chowder, chimp steaks, breaded chimp nuggets. And the citizens of Bohunk are your zombie workforce. Fascinating. Diabolique. But how? See for yourselves. Woo, he's a keeper. I hear the really big ones are up in Canada. This mutant muskie is the keystone of my operation. It is he who acts as my hands, plucking hapless locals from their boats and performing the delicate surgery that transforms them into tireless drones. Sweet mother of all things good and plenty. He's plucked out their brains, Max. I guess that makes him a brain sturgeon. <laughs> The time has come for you to join those you came to save in a lifetime of servitude to Max Salmon. Musky, remove brain. Obey. Amazing. I had no idea my skull was threaded for easy access. Quick, press down on the medulla oblongata. Five bucks says he smells burnt toast. Come on, come on. This isn't brain surgery. Mama. Down from above. Sparrows! Who's cooking sparrows? Your claws give them to me. I see cheese and crackers. And that's the end of round two. Sam! Sam, is it you? I'll take Paul in to block, Peter. You fool! You've touched off his speech center. Speech center? I always thought Max had a cream center. Blue ruffles and they're lollipop there. They're lollipop there. Stop him! He's running amok! <laughs> Freeze, Musky! Drop the funny or the mastermind gets it! Do as he says! I think he means it! Nice work, little buddy. Thanks to your adult shenanigans, I was able to collar this carp without gunfire or loss of lives. Don't mention it, Sam. May I be rewarded with the pleasure of tenderizing, er, I mean, Mirandizing our prisoner now? Okay, but do it in the back. These poor folks have seen enough atrocities for one day. No! 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 We are much obliged to you, boys. Not only have you led these poor folks out of eternal bondage, but just ditched their brains back in and restored order to our sleepy town. Just doing our job, citizen. And don't you worry about Max Salmon. We're sending that felonious flounder up the river. He'll fry for this. Get it? Fish? Fry? <laughs> <laughs> it was another one for the books. Another gratifying kick in the pants of crime. And what of the mutant muskie, you ask? An innocent pawn duped into partaking in Max's sordid scheme? We're pleased to say that he has been given a fresh start by the people of Bohunk Lagoon. And allowed to start his life anew as a useful member of society. No flash photography! No flash photography! Such a beautiful spot. I almost hate to leave. Me too, Sam. But let's do, before we start blubbering like newlyweds over its grandeur. You crack me up, little buddy.
alien invasion has begun. Animorphs transform! The evil aliens led by Visser 3 are here, but we can change too into any animal we touch. And when Heroic Axe changes into a scorpion, Visser 3 is gonna get stung. Each sold separately. Transformers! <laughs> Girl Talk the game with Truth or Dare, and it was so hilarious. Julie had told she'd ever kiss the boy. We were laughing like crazy. And we thought she was next to me. She had to eat a pickle sandwich. Yeah. And me and Jenna had to do a three-legged race. We went nuts. In the end, I went and got the big fantasy card. I couldn't Girl Talk. Talk. The game of Truth or Dare you can't stop talking about. From the Girl Talk line of games and books. I read the card. It said the next person who calls him will your future husband. Over here, I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your Aunt Martha. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglins. You sold separately, and we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Now you're the world's ultimate detective, Batman. You find the clue and evil's through. The Mad Hatter and his robotic rabbit are on the loose as Detective Batman and Crime Solver Nightwing use incredible Crime Solver lens technology to track them down. I found the rabbit. Fire! Now, to blow the lid off the case, cut loose the revolutionary Night Striker Batmobile. Souped up with enough secret firepower to make the hat go splat. You find the clue and evil's through. Be the man, Batman. Batman Crime Solvers. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Yahoo, it's me, Beetlejuice. Yo, Adam, check out my great new house, The Vanishing Wall. Scary. Each sold separately. Just lie down inside and say, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Even small, I'm scary. Boom. Ah! Now, back to normal. Beetlejuice. Let me try it. Beetlejuice. Where'd he go? And that's why they call it The Vanishing Vault. Welcome back. So how was the vault? I lost my head over it. Ah! Beetlejuice Vanishing Vault comes with micro figure. Other figures sold separately. This is Stan Lee of Marvel Comics warning you to look around you. Your classmates, your friends, you never know which one of them may be a mutant. A person born with strange and wondrous powers. Now some mutants, like the X-Men, use their special gifts for good. But then there are the terrorist mutants who plan to destroy the human race. Mutants. I hate them. Take this mutie we're hauling tonight, for example. He's too dangerous to live. I am Magneto. Release me. I command him. I've never seen anything like it. His power. He's a mutant. A stinking mutant. He doesn't deserve to live on the same planet as normal, decent human beings. When the Brotherhood of Mutant Terrorists and I are through, humans will no longer have a place on planet Earth. Why, you rotten... <laughs> Convoy! It's sinking! Men are so helpless against the mental powers of the White Queen. We're in the middle of the highway! There's no water! Not water, sir! It's the highway itself! I know it sounds crazy, but it's turning into quicksand! Quicksand? Quicksand? Why, what kind of a fool are you? Magneto, your deliverance is... Hold it, mutant! <laughs> what are you doing? Swatting a gnat! Whoa! Colonel Chaffee! Colonel Chaffee! Colonel, are you all right, sir? With that murderous mutant on the loose, son, none of us are gonna be all right! Driver, would you wait here for me? Forget it! Kid, this place gives me the creeps. Give me the creeps too. 
Dear Miss Pride, it has come to my attention that you have a mutant power, the ability to walk through solid matter. I believe you call it phasing. Hello? Is anyone here? This way, Miss Pride. Who? What are you? Don't be startled. My mind is projecting an image of myself for you to follow. I am Professor Charles Xavier, also known as Professor X. I and those who have joined me are known as the X-Men. X-Men? But, but I thought the X-Men were... Mutants? Yes. But how do you know about, about what I can do? All the things you mentioned in this letter, no one knows. Not even my parents. This is Cerebro, a powerful computer with a special circuit which can detect the unique brain waves emitted by mutants. That is how I found you. Then, then I really am a mutant. I'm a freak. No, no, my dear. We mutants are not freaks. I don't understand. And I'm afraid, too. At one point, we were all afraid, Kitty. Come, we'll meet the others. This is the control center for the danger room. And down there is the danger room itself, where the X-Men train to improve their mutant skills by engaging in simulated combat provided by a combination of holograms and robotics. This is Scott Summers, better known as Cyclops. His eyes shoot concentrated beams of pure energy. Next is Peter Rasputin. His code name is Colossus. Don't worry, Kitty, as Colossus Peter is impervious to harm. <laughs> He's good. Next, meet Allison Blair, the Dazzler. She can transform sound into powerful bolts of light. Oh, who's that? Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler has mastered the art of line of sight teleportation. That's Wolverine, with razor-like adamantium claws. They're sharp enough to slice through almost any substance known to man. Now, we meet Storm, whose mutant ability to control weather itself is still not completely understood. Finally, as for me, I have the ability to see into people's minds. Their minds? Oh, don't worry, child. I don't use my gift recklessly. I think you'll find my X-Men a very pleasant group once you get to know them, Miss Pride. Scott, I have someone up here I'd like you all to meet. Sure thing, Professor. <laughs> ah, Fräulein, what a lovely vision you are. Please allow me. Professor? <laughs> Kitty, you're phasing. I guess I've phased through the computer. She has the power to walk through solid objects, a power known as phasing. Kate! <laughs> it is good, little one. Colossus like rain. <laughs> Fräulein, you left before I could properly welcome you. Welcome her. Wait, she's not drawn in the X-Men, is she? She's just a kid. Wolverine, can't you see the girl is scared? Don't you remember what it was like when you first discovered you were a mutant? I back off! Just don't want to have to witness some little... What's that? Red alarm. It's a mutant alert. Our training session's over. We're needed. Let's go! They fell for it. You may begin, Juggernaut. All right! And let nothing stand in your way. Who are those people? Magneto, master of magnetism. And I'm sorry to say my stepbrother, Juggernaut. You know them? Yes, it is the X-Men's sworn duty to protect mankind by battling Magneto and his evil terrorist mutants. If Magneto should win, the human race will become slaves of the evil mutants. Kitty! You're scrambling Cerebro's defensive circuits! They're inside the mansion! 
Christian, what do we do? Magneto cannot hide his thoughts from me. What he wants is Cerebro's mutant power circuit. Can we stop him? We're about to find out. Quickly, child, take it. Protect the circuit at all costs. <laughs> What's wrong, Charlie? No warm welcome for your dear stepbrother? You've always been welcome in my home, Kane. It's your choice of friends, I question. Juggernaut has chosen his friends well, Xavier. Ah, the mutant power circuit. Give it to me, girl! Kitty, face out! Use your power, Kitty! Give it to me now or suffer later! Where do you think you're going, dear stepbrother? My child, you are being foolish! Normal humans hate you for being what you are! Why not join me? No! Normal humans and mutants don't have to be enemies! I'll never join you! Never! That's too bad, my dear. Truly tragic, yes! <laughs> the world is mine. Meanwhile, unaware of Magneto's attack on the headquarters, the X-Men race to the Deep Space Observatory for a showdown with Magneto's deadly allies, the Blob and Pyro. The fire! It's coming closer! What do you want? Nothing! Just take over Earth! Now, now, Blob! After all... Once we get the tracking coordinates for the Scorpio Comet, his world will... His world will what, Pyro? Ah, we've been expecting you. Expecting us? Colossus, take care of this. No power on Earth can move the blob. Back off, X-Men. Please help us. Let the hostages go, Pyro. This doesn't concern them. Wrong, Ruby Eyes. In two days, it'll concern every human on Earth. Wait till I get my claws on him. He'll be talking out the other side. Look out! Here you are, Liebchen. Thank you. Hey, stay away, you filthy mutants! Lob and Pyro got what they came for. Whatever it was, it poses a threat to the whole human race. Those mutants are in there! Cover on the exit! That's our cue. Let's go! Hang on, everyone! As the computer tracking system locked onto the comet... Yes, Master. Everything is ready, just as you ordered. <laughs> Excellent. Place Cerebro's power circuit in the Magnetron. Get away from me, beast. <laughs> Scorpio is now in range. <laughs> I did it, Master. I did good, didn't I? <laughs> yes, Toad. Now make yourself useful. Go play in an airlock. All right, mister. Play, play in the airlock. Oh, come here. <laughs> Professor? Kitty? Professor X? Here! I found him! Where should I put him? Here! <laughs> Kitty? Where's Kitty? Kitty! No! No! Get away from me! Kitty, it's okay. You're safe now. Then it's all been real. Oh, of course it's all been real. Get with it. The X-Men don't have room for whiny brats. Just who are you calling whiny? I'll show you. I'll... Hold it, Kitty. Wolverine may not be Mr. Sunshine, but he isn't your enemy. That's right. Magneto's the enemy. Magneto? Professor X? Where is he? Is he all right? I... Yes, Kitty. I'm fine. Professor! Professor! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. But I failed you. I failed you all. Magneto has the circuit. You didn't fail, my child. None of us would have had a chance alone against Magneto. We must discover exactly what Magneto is up to before it's too late. Power circuit works. I can feel the energy. 
the power. I have located Magneto. The power. The power! the Scorpio Comet. In less than a day, most of the human race will be wiped out. The mutants will rule the Earth. This is it, true believers. Unless the X-Men can stop Magneto, mankind is doomed. What's happened? Are you all right? What is it? Magneto, he's changed the course of the Comet Scorpio directly towards Earth. The power... It hit me like a fist. If Scorpio strikes Earth, it'll send up a cloud of dust and debris, which will block out the sun for years. And our planet will be plunged into the Ice Age. And we've got to stop it. Hold it! The kid stays here. She'll just get in the way. I will not. And stop calling me a kid. I am 14 years old. I'm sorry, Kitty. But Wolverine's right. You haven't been trained. It's much too dangerous. You'll stay here. Until later, my child. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. I'll show you all. It's reported to be the Comet Scorpio. Until a few short hours ago, it was only a harmless scientific curiosity. If Scorpio comes any closer, it will mean disaster. Professor, we're now in a parking orbit. All right, suit up. Storm, when I blow the airlock, we'll need your powers to keep the atmosphere inside the asteroid. Check. You can come out now. You were told to remain at the mansion. I couldn't. It's my fault Magneto has the power circuit. I've got to help stop him. What you plan to do is very dangerous. I have to help. The world Magneto wants to destroy is my world, too. Oh, Professor, wish me luck. Good luck, my dear. Good luck to us all. Wolverine, once inside, will lead us to Magneto. Are we going to talk about this all day or do it? We're going to do it. The X-Men. Stop them! You just love a good Barbie. Leave this one to the Dazzler. Uh. You guys go on. Which way now? <laughs> this way, kiddies. If you can. Don't worry about us, Dingo. We'll make sure we can. to get past our little welcoming committee, but you go no further. And who is going to stop us? Me, Juggernaut! Gentlemen, welcome. is where you'll stop. Nothing moves the blob. And I wouldn't dream of trying. Auf Wiedersehen. We're gone. Hello, Nightcrawler. Fascinating, isn't it? Earth shall be destroyed in precisely three minutes. Not if I can help it. Ah, but you can't. No one can. Farewell, X-Man. <laughs> The circuit! You made me break the circuit! Now nothing can change the comet's course! Kitty, strike now! Magneto's in position! Nightcrawler, the circuit! Your own body is recharging the circuit! 
But now we can use Magneto's own power to change the comet's course. You blundering juvenile. Do you have any idea what you've done? Yes. I've just stopped a madman from destroying the Earth. And now Scorpio will destroy this base instead. But you still lose. Nightcrawler's own body must continue to complete that circuit, or the comet will change course back to Earth. Although you've won, Nightcrawler must die. Nightcrawler, is it true what he said? Kitty, get everyone off the asteroid at once! But I can't leave you! Not after the way I... Go now! Kitty, join the others. Quickly, I have a plan. Nightcrawler, listen to me. I'll keep the Blackbird on your view screen. Your timing must be flawless. You have to teleport just before the comet hits. Do you understand? Of course, Professor. Now, Nightcrawler, now! You've waited too long! He's gone. There. He's alive. Not for long. He's entering the Earth's atmosphere. He'll burn up. Not if we can get the grappling beams to him. <laughs> Better hurry! It's getting plenty warm in this suit! Fire the grappling beams! Where is he? Professor? He's... he's gone. No, no! He can't be dead! He just can't be! No! I was so mean to him! Now I can never make it up to him! I just can't believe it. Nightcrawlers. What's that? Back there! <coughs> Nightcrawler, my little Tavarish. You're not dead after all, no? <laughs> I would hope not. But I would have been, if not for Kitty Pride. Thank you. That was the bravest, most unselfish thing I've ever seen in my life. Don't you agree? <laughs> well, Wolverine, you were against Kitty being a member of the team. What do you think now? So the kid got lucky that don't make her an X-Man. Not yet. Yes, the X-Men have won, but only for now. Magneto is still out there, waiting, planning, plotting the destruction of the human race. But whatever the challenge, whatever the peril, the X-Men will be there. Herself. Hair streak changes colors in warm water. Doll sells separately. Gruesome. <coughs> Repulsive. <coughs> Hideous. <coughs> Disgusting. <coughs> Obnoxious. <coughs> Revolting. <coughs> Wretched. <coughs> Sickening. <coughs> Blurb balls. They make you want to blurp. Gather around, mice. What are we doing, blood? We're going in for the big cheese. But it's every mouse for himself, so don't get caught. Mouse trap! It's a zany action. A crazy contraption. The fun is catching its mouse trap. The game's mouse trap. Build a contraption to trap the other mice, but don't get caught yourself. Turn the crank. Hit the boot. Suddenly, we're down the chute. Move the hand. The marble drop. The diver flip. We just can't stop. It's a zany action. A crazy contraption. 
contraption. The fun is catching. You wanna bite? It's mouth trap. Face it. Either at one end of the earth or the other. Time to choose. You better think about getting yourself an NB1 or a Nerf Nipple Storm. Excuse me, don't you just love this? Or a Shunshu or an Arrow Storm. Don't you get it? It's Nerf or nothing. Do not try to adjust your television set. It's the Nickelodeon Laser Light. Amazing new scientific breakthrough. Nickelodeon Laser Light lets you put on your own laser light show anywhere it starts. Fantastic. It's unbelievable. Plus, you control the laser's color and focus. All you need is the dark. Don't be scared of the dark. And you can create a wild laser light show. So now you can add color to any dark space. The Nickelodeon Laser Light from Just Toys. Wildcats mission log. Entry 7. Void has detected a Daemonite energy field, heading straight for Infodyne's data processing division. The team's got to get there fast. We may have a hostage situation brewing. Of course, sir. We stake our reputation on confidentiality and total security. and girls, this is what you call a hostage situation. Nobody so much as Twitch, and you might live to tell your grandkids about this. Okay, baby. Come to Papa. Do you have an appointment? As a matter of fact, no. Hey! You can't go back there! Wait a minute. This date is encrypted. What's that supposed to mean? I mean it's just garbage. Who has the access code? You have five seconds to reply. Four, three, two. The head of the division, Karen McKee, but she's at lunch. I hope for your sake she's having fast food. Intruders. Let's roar, Wildcats. The Wildcats. Gee, you don't miss a thing. Destroy them! Get those civilians out of here! It's okay. We're the good guys. Why do I find that hard to believe? I shall fry you with my volcanic powers! Cool down, you hothead. My hands... They're freezing. <gasps> Targeting enemy. 
target this infernal machine. It's time for a little game we call Crush the Wildcats. I'm tired of your games, Attica. So am I. <laughs> Okay, cats, let's take them down. Harm, get us out of here, now! Entering vehicular mode. Hellspond will not be pleased. We must stop them. No, I want to know what they were after. Warblade, check out that computer. You got it, Spartan. What's going on here? Who do you think you are busting up my place? Garen. Calm down, lady. Those files are private property. It's okay, Karen. You can trust him. Hadrian? Hadrian? What are you doing here? Who are these people? It's complicated. Where have you been all this time? You never called me again. You just vanished. Listen, this place was attacked for information. Do you have any idea what it might have been? Infodyne's a big company. It could have been a hundred things. The files those creeps were after are totally locked off. Something about Project Alpha. Do you know anything about it? I have the codes, but I can't let you see any of that information. It's top secret. But I might take a look at it for you. But only you. Not them. The rest of you see what Void can dig up. I'll stay here, in case the Troika comes back. I don't know who needs protection worst, her or him. What do you think you're doing? I owe her an explanation, Zealot. I... I still care about her. Spartan, you're a cyborg now. Just tell her the truth and be done with it. You know, you've changed. I have? Yeah, your taste in clothes has gotten really weird. Look, about Project Alpha. There's plenty of time for that. We've got some catching up to do. I have uncovered only one piece of data on Project Alpha, a photograph of its location. Let's see it, Void. That piece of junk's Project Alpha? You're putting us on. You'll have to do better than that, Void. Negative. If I probe any deeper into the computer network, it will trigger a security shutdown. Then Spartan better get some information out of that woman. If he can keep his mind on business. What was that name she called him? Hadrian? His Carabim name. From the old times. Let's just hope it reminds him of his duty. I kept waiting for you, Hadrian. I never even dated another man. What happened? I thought you loved me. Look, Karen. Things have changed. I'm in the middle of a war. A war most people don't even know about. What war? There is no war. Hadrian, nothing's changed between us. I still love you. Everything is different. I am different. Karen, please, just decode the files. <sighs> How are you different, Hadrian? That night I missed our engagement dinner. I was attacked by Daemonites. What are Daemonites? We'd be happy to arrange an introduction. Karen, get out of here! She's the one we need. Oh! Adrian! Good lord! What are you? Harm! Finish him! Troika! Move out! Karen! Troika got Karen, and the files on Project Alpha. We're on our way. If they've done anything to her, I'll tear them apart. I am picking up Daemonite energy patterns. They're coming from an abandoned propane plant in Sector 12. Then that's where they've taken her. You sure you're up for this, Spartan? Yeah, old buddy, you're a mess. I never felt better.
So, the access code's in here, eh? All right! We've got it! <gasps> now Hellspawn can have all the energy he needs to search for that gizmo. Troy, cut to Mothership! We've got the goods! Take us home! Slow down, Spartan! We're almost there! We don't have time to slow down. Okay, let's get this show moving! Don't those wildcats ever give up? Never slag. Warblade, cut her loose. Have you free in a slash, lady? Get the computer! Forget it! We've got what we need! Your tricks are no match for Karadim's skill. You shall suffer for your insolence, wildcats! Don't be so sure, sucker! This is it, Troika. No more games. Well, it's about time. Never catch up to him now. And they have the files on Project Alpha. Terrific. We still don't know what this is all about. I've got duplicate files at Infodyne, but they're encoded. And those goons took my access key. Void can decode the files. This code is very complex. Your people did well, Ms. McKee. It will take some time to decode the files. Make it fast, Void. The Daemonites are already five jumps ahead of us. She's really a computer? Yes, the most advanced in the world. I told you it was complicated. Could I speak to you alone? What's the story with those two? She's an old flame. And I'm guessing he still carries a torch for her. Oh, great. That's just what we need. I see now why you didn't want to tell me. I thought about getting in touch, but I figured it was best to just let it be over. But it's not over. We both still feel the same way. Karen, look at me. I'm made of titanium alloy and 30 different synthetics. The only thing left of me is my mind. Was your real body preserved? Yes, but it is in stasis. Listen, Infodyne's medical division has made some new breakthroughs. They could revive your body and return your mind to it. What? Don't you see? You could become the man I once knew and loved again. My place is with the Wildcats. They need me, Karen. I need you too. Where is my body? What? My real body. Where is it? In the Halo Biotech facility. But why on earth would you- Karen says her people can revive it and return my mind to it. You can't. You're too valuable to the team. The team can get along without me. Then what about the world? The Daemonites won't go away even if you do. I am going to be whole again, Jacob. Do not try to stop me. Spartan, it's your body and your life and ultimately your decision. But the Wildcats need you. I have decoded the files on Project Alpha. We must summon the Wildcats at once. Spartan, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? I want my original body back, Dr. Forbes. That... that is impossible. Do not lie to me. Forbes, tomorrow, we've got a problem. Here, you can't do that. The biostasis pods are off limits. Let him have it, Zachary. It's his choice.
This crude shack is merely the entrance to Project Alpha. The main lab is far below ground in solid bedrock. It is here that Infodyne technicians have constructed a thermal fusion generator. What the heck's a thermal fusion generator? A device that creates unlimited energy using thermal radiation. We've been trying to build one for years. Looks like Infodyne beat us to it. Why do the Daemonites want it so bad? That's the million dollar question. I am beginning to sense Daemonite presences near the location. You've got to stop them. Take the Merv. Wait, where's Spartan? We need him. He's gone, and I don't think he'll be back. He walked out on us? You're saying we're about to go into battle without our leader? I bet that girl has something to do with this. We can do nothing about it now. Our first priority is to stop the Daemonites. Let's go! First, the body must be revived. Then we have to download your memory. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable. I do not feel discomfort. I am a machine. But not for long. A Daemonite hover ship! We're too late! So what? We can take those goons. Then prepare to take on Hellspawn himself, Grifter. The Behemoth! You know, this may not be as easy as I thought. So much for getting the drop on the Daemonites. What the? What's it doing? It's digging its way right into the underground lab. Straight to the thermal fusion generator. will be fully energized. My warship will have the power of flight once more. Then, no nation on Earth will dare oppose me. Try opposing this, you sleaze bucket. It's over, Wildcats. You have lost. Carillion, finish them. More bad news. Void, is there any way we can get to the lab and shut that generator down? No, Zealot. The thermal radiation is too intense. We'd all get barbecued if we went down there. I'm going to take out that power cable. What are you, nuts? The behemoth will blow the Merv to bits! can help us now. Marlo, where's Spartan? Zelen, I'll look after Spartan. You get back to the team. Looks like we'll have to do this the hard way. That suits me just fine. <laughs> Let's roar, Wildcats! A girl can do anything if she puts her mind to it. Time for Maul to get tall! And take a fall. We're ready to begin. In a few moments, you'll be flesh and blood again, darling. And we can be together, always. Let's do it. I'm going to shut you down now. Spartan, I can't let you do this. Please reconsider. 
The others are in danger. They need you. I have done more than my share. I have earned the right to live a quiet life with the woman I love. What kind of a life will it be if Hellspont wins? There'll be no place for love when the Daemonites rule the world. I am doing this for you, Karen. Hadrian, no! The Wildcats need you, Spartan. Now more than ever. I'm sorry, Karen. I will not let you down, sir. Feel the steel, Demo Creeps! Didn't anyone teach you drones how to fight? You'll have to do better than that, wild cat. Okay, how about a game of catch? It's time we finish this. And I think it's time you went for a little dip. That's the last of their weapons. Terrific, but Hellspont nearly has the behemoth energized. It'll take a miracle to stop him now. Somebody ask for a miracle? Marlo filled me in on the situation. Keep those Daemonites busy. I'm going to shut down that generator. All right, let's grifterize them. Grifterize? Okay, so I just made it up. It's over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit in here, but I do not melt easily. What is happening? It's Spartan! He's destroyed the generator! They think they've defeated me, but nothing will stop me in my quest for the orb. Busted him. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Spartan. I did what I came to do. <laughs> I should not have even thought about getting my real body back. I endangered my friends. I endangered the mission. And you. It doesn't matter to me whether you're made of flesh or metal. What I love about you is inside, and that's still alive. It's over, Karen. I am a wildcat. I'll always remember you, Hadrian. For your sake, Karen, I hope you forget. Spartan to wildcats. I am coming home. <laughs> <laughs>